guys, it's April. Um, Louise, our one of our admins, uh, posted this card up this week, and we had several inquiries about it, and she was gracious enough to share that file with you guys. Um, if you can't find the post that has it in there, the link to her card will be up on craftingwithapril.co on the freebies tab. Uh, please, if you see her in the groups, that you make sure that um, you tell her thank you for that file when you make your card and post it up. Um, I am going to do my own version of this um, using her file for you guys to show you how to put it together. Uh, but I wanted to go in before I made changes to my file because I have saved this for mine and I'm going to be adding some elements to it that you understand what the layout and what her color code was on that file. This purple piece is going to be your back card and that's going to cover your mechanism pieces uh, and you'll see that later on. This is the card that's going to go where you're going to put everything together and then you're going to glue it to that purple piece, whatever color you choose. It has a hole in it. Then you're going to need this piece to be um, a thick craft board or a uh, poster board, something thick. I like the craft card stock myself and that's what Louise used for hers. Then this, these colored pieces, you're going to need two or three of those. You want to make sure that you have enough clearance for your Tic Tacs or whatever candies that you put in there. And you want to make sure that your candies have room to fall into this mechanism and are not too big so that they can fall out. So you're going to need three of those is what she used for the foam sheets. And then you're going to need another one of your craft board. Then your acetate is going to go on. You're going to put in your mechanism. You're going to put it together just like I have it laid out here. Um, she has one of the circles. Then she has, which is cut from the same craft board. Then she has the mechanism. Then when you put it together, you're going to put three of the foam. Oops. And then another craft board and the craft board. Okay. And then this is going to be your decorative pattern piece. You're, again, it's in the same blue that this pattern piece is back there so that you can see it through the window. And then these are decorative elements here that are going to go over that. And I'll show you the card that she did one more time. And you can see here's the blue pieces. You don't see any of the uh, white foam pieces and you don't see her green pieces that are right here in the file. You don't see those. Those are just to give it some strength. Um, but you do need to make sure that you use a... I would use a coordinating uh, foam, craft foam. She used white here, and you can see that it's not very noticeable. But if you used maybe a black foam, then it would be. Um, just match it up to whatever you're using. Um, if you're using a, a dark red base, you might want to use red foam. You never know. So let's go ahead and move over. I'm going to cut this, and then we're going to come back and put it together. Okay guys, I have everything cut. Now, I did some testing and I decided to go with my Creative Station. Um, if you have one of these, you can do that too. Now, because foam is thicker, I did have to open up my Creative Station and pull my material just to get it started and then I could roll it with no problem. And I did that to two of them. Uh, and then, of course, you want to go in and give it a good rub inside with whatever tools that you have. Um, anything, you can use your fingernail. Just whatever, you know, because of the sticky. You don't want that sticky being on the inside of your project. I have some on my nail because I did some of this in advance. Um, but you want to go in and make sure that you've rubbed down all of those areas around the outside as well just so that all of the extra stick sticks to this clear plastic and not to everything else okay and then you're just going to peel that off and all of the extra stick is going to be on this piece and you can throw that away that's where I got it on my nails 
and then you should have no stick on the inside. That way you can stick and layer these up. Now one of them, I did this too, and then I flipped it over and ran it through again because I want my cardstock to stick to the top of this. The bottom one is going to be stuck to cardstock, so it will be fine. And then the others are st stacked on top. So you only need to do this to one of them, but you do need to go in and make sure that you don't have any of the sticky left and I just used my cutout from my craft board and stuck it in there and ran it around and checked it. Now I do have some stick right there but that's where I tore my paper. I just ripped my paper out of there because when I pushed it down it started ripping anyway and that was a good thing. Um, so go in there and clean it out or you can use several types of glue. Now I tested art glitter glue and it did dry. Um, however, it took overnight and it was still, it was dry around the edges uh, in between the foam, but not fully dry inside uh, because the foam is not going to absorb the glue like other things do. I tried neutral pH from Lanco, um, and it did really well also. Um, but again, around the edges, it dried pretty good, and they dried overnight. I just stuck some pieces together. They dried overnight, and they came out pretty well also. Again, wet in the middle. I found the one that worked the best were these three, and they were about the same. Um, they dried well, but they did, again, have to dry overnight. I have ordered some Beacon Craft Foam glue, uh, and I'm going to test that out if you want to check back with me. I'm pretty sure that it's going to do because it says quick, dry, fast grab, and it is made for craft foam, so I will be using that. I just don't have it now, and I need to get this video out for you guys. So, I've got everything cut here and all of my elements, and I decided to go with the candy cane seed theme, and I'm dumping my Tic Tacs. And I have the red and white Tic Tacs here. So, and I have, I use the Martha Stewart by Cricut. Um, this one has no pattern on it. It's just clear uh, acetate and I cut it on the foil acetate but it does have plastic on both sides so be aware when you're doing that so that you get a nice clear window. The other only has it on one side. So we're going to, I want to make sure I have all my pieces. Here's my base piece okay and it does not have a hole in it that's my back so I did uh, cut it in the opposite direction no I didn't. Yes, yes I did. So that it would be the right way. And so I'm flipping that over. That's going to be my back just to cover whatever mechanism we have going on there. This one has the hole in it. And then we have three of these somewhere. I lost one of my pieces. Oh no, those two. Those are my own. Uh, I got confused myself. Then you've got your craft board, two pieces, and then you're going to have your three foams, your craft board, and then your cover, okay? So the first thing I want to do is line up my craft foams, and you want to do this carefully. So I am just going to, I think I'll start at the bottom, just going to peel back my paper just a little bit on one of them. because you want these to line up really well. I'm just going to bring it in. Hopefully I've got everything on track. And I'm just going to slowly be, be careful because your foam can stretch. Make sure you get these points down. Just going to hold that up and pull that off so I don't stretch it. Okay. 
wants to try to stretch on me, doesn't it? Let's see if I can get it to relax. I can reposition a little bit. There we go. So now we've got that lined up really good. All right. Make sure it's not sticky in there. If it is, I'll use my gum eraser and get any sticky out. It doesn't, I don't feel any. So I think we're good. And now I'm going to peel the backing off of one side of this and leave my paper on the top. And then I'm going to line this one up as well. This one's going to be a little trickier, I think. Because I still have the paper on there. Run off. Good thing about it is using my Creative Station, I can reposition it, even though it's permanent because it's foam. But in the real world, I would be gluing these together, most definitely. I just wanted to get you guys a video to show you how this card goes together. I was having a really rough time with that one. I don't know if I stretched it. There we go. Ah, oh, there we go. And that's pretty good. We're, I'm going to live with it. I think I got it lined up. It's a little off right there. So take your time and line yours up. And if you're using the glue, you're going to have a little bit more maneuverability than I have here because once I set it down, it's stuck. There we go. I'm just making sure that it's all lined up on the inside here. That looks, that looks fairly well. So now I have that. And now I'm going to peel off this top layer. And I'm going to I probably should stick that to a mat so that it doesn't move on me. And I'm a little bit off. And I know that's not gonna come. So I'm just gonna. I'm going to live with that one. We're going to peel the back. And then we're going to take the. Oops. I, uh, no, I didn't. Do I want that? I want my window to go behind my decorative piece. I can't live with it. I got to have it. I bet it doesn't come up. And I have a sticky, sticky situation here. Uh, I'm going to mess it up if I do that. Make sure you get yours lined up because it will matter. Hopefully I can push that in. Get it lined up as perfectly as you can. If I had more time, I would just redo it. But you're basically going to make your sandwich just like so and because I have a little overhang I'm going to I think I'm just going to trim that sticky off we'll see um, Oh, 
me get my long scissors. Where are they? Okay, I'm just gonna trim this foam up. Just so I don't have sticky going everywhere. Where I got it off, yours should fit fine. Again, use the glues instead of the Creative Station. I just don't have time for it to dry overnight. It would take me a week to make the video for you guys if I let each one of these layer foam layers dry overnight. And I wanted to get that out today. So I'm just going to live with mine like that, but make sure yours is lined up well. And now we are going to... This does not fit in there perfectly. You've got some overhang. So we're going to glue that onto there. I'm going to use my art glitter glue here because now I have paper to paper. And I am clogged. Always when you're shooting, right? And I just kind of spoke with Louise, who was generous enough to give us this file. And hopefully I am putting this together correctly, Louise. Um, I know we kind of covered it a little bit, but you never know. It's been a couple of days waiting on my supplies, and I gave up. So now I have that in there. The reason you want all that lined up well, and I may have to trim that off right there, uh, is because your mechanism has got to spin in there. And I'm going to trim that off just in case. I don't want it to block up that hole. That's where it's important. Mechanism is going to go in there. There we go. So if yours is off a little bit, you can you can trim yours out on that paper right there. You just want to make sure that your mechanism is going to spin in there. that again. There's that one. Four. And that looks pretty good. So I've got my hole right there. And you're going to need a bread. And I'm going to try to do this with a bell. Um, so we're going to see. These foam pieces, I did. I took the hole out because I cut mine with my rotary blade. I know there's one right here. So I'm going to run these through and so that I can glue them together, actually. Actually, I may just try to glue these. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to run them through my machine and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have run them all through my machine. I should have switched to my smaller paper for this one, but I didn't. And I'm just going to pull that off. And I'm going to take one of my craft board, the ones with the hole. Again, I cut mine with my rotary. So your file, if you cut these out of foam uh, and used your regular blade, they should have a hole in them. But I'm just going to poke my hole. And so I've got one there on the top. I'm going to peel that. And then we're going to start layering these guys up.
and you, like I said, you will have more control on lining up if you're using glue than I do with this. I'm going to have to go through and get the sticky off too. Get all that extra sticky. And I'm going to get my little gummy eraser if it doesn't come off. It looks like it came off. I don't know my fingernail there. And then we're going to apply this one. And now we have our little mechanism. And then that is going to place in there. Looks like I had plenty of room. I should have checked it before I did all that extra cutting, right? Okay. And where are you? There we go. I still have that sticky on there from that creative station on my fingernails. We're just going to, I'm just going to put a little dab of glue on the three things there and bring this piece in and line it up. That's a reinforcement. I hope I'm doing this right guys. I really don't know. <laughs> and then I'm going to place that like so and I'm using a larger bread instead of two smaller ones I think she used two smaller ones I'm going to test it see if it works give that a second to to dry there and then this is going to go like so I'm going to push that through my mechanism. First I'm going to since I didn't cut my foam, I'm just gonna punch a hole in there. Something to get it started. There we go. Now that it's going through there, we're gonna lay this on the top. And push that through. And that's what they're going to turn on mine. And make sure that it's spinning. And then we're going to, I want to make sure that I got it together before I glue that on. And it does come through to the back, just barely, but it comes through. I may put a reinforcement piece on that or some tape or something. We're going to line those up just like so. Okay, so I'm going to pull that off right now and place my window on the back side of this. I'm going to peel that. have a nice clear window and I don't want that to be in the way of the mechanism either and it looks like it's going to slide over it just perfectly that um, spacer wheel really helps with that as well and it needs to go under that because if it doesn't go under so you want to pull this up and make sure that you are up under that because if you're up over it it's going to stop and it's going to hang. Okay? So if you get it up over there, like I have here, it's up over the top of it. You can see my mechanism won't turn. So make sure that when you put that window in, underneath the mechanism. Okay? And you can just be sure by taking it off. We're just going to glue that on. i got glue on my window. Turn on it. Let me clean that off and I'll be right back. Okay. So I am going to use art glitter glue for mine. 
I'm just going to go right around the edge. If you want to use um, a tape runner, I guess you could use that too. I would be careful of using <clears throat> red line tapes or any thicker tapes. It's going to take up from your space that you have. Okay. So now we're going to put this little guy back together just so we know that we're on the top of it. Make sure that it's turning. You don't want to get this too tight when you put this together, guys. So I'm just going to, I think I'm going to wait and get this on first and then go in and add some glue. Just going to open it up slightly. I want to make sure that everything is turning before I. Huh, I broke my bell. That's one thing. Good thing I waited on my glue, right? Let me grab another. Let's see. Oops, my Tic Tacs. Okay. Disaster averted, hopefully. Hopefully I won't pop this one off. Uh, I believe she used a stone on hers. But again, you don't want to get this too tight back here. Just want to make sure that it turns. Uh, you're going to need some kind of a bread. Uh, you can use a flat bread and put a stone on the top, but I think I would use E6000 or something to glue that on um, just to make sure that you have some turning space. And all I'm doing here is I'm just going to go into the back and lift up on my bread and bend it over a little bit just so I have some space but it is secure. That way it's it spins loosely and it won't be hard to spin. I like the bell. I wish it was a little bit bigger and I may pop it off and then try to glue another one on but for this video I'm just I'm not gonna go there. So I'm just gonna glue down the top piece now. Just gonna go. Glue that on. Ooh, you know what I did? Forgot my candies. Put your candies in first. Put your candy in first. You want to make sure that you have enough room for your Tic Tacs to move freely. If they're not moving freely, they're not going to drop out, guys. Just so you know. And I'm just going to lift up and glue down here. And my phone's a little bit off, but... Maybe, uh, I think I fixed it. I think, I think I still had room with that glue too. And I just want to move. Okay. I have a candy honey. There we go. There we go. All right. And when we turn that, the candy should drop in and fall out the bottom, and it does. 
Okay, so I have one in there. I'm just going to leave it in there. I'm not going to pull my circle tab out yet. Um, if you want to, you can. So now we need to hide the mechanism on the back. Um, I don't think it needs a reinforcement piece. I want that piece to show, so I'm just going to glue this together. I'm not going to glue in the center around that. I want to make sure that I have a good area for that to turn freely. So I'm just going to go around the edges and then around that mechanism. And this one should line up perfectly with that backing piece. And you will need a dimensional envelope for this. If you are a uh, Kofi supporter or a Patreon supporter, you are going to have access to that dimensional envelope. It may be on my freebie tab, um, but I'm pretty sure that it isn't. I think it is in the design files from 2017, 2019. But you'll find it on there. I will try to look it up. As a matter of fact, I will look it up and I will put that uh, in with this file so you guys have access to it and you won't have to go searching for it. So now we're going to put our decorative pieces on and I'm just going to do some glue on this ring. Now I did change my rings up a little bit from Louise's file. This ring I didn't change at all and this kind of helps hide if your foam is off a little bit. Okay kind of distracts from that. This ring I changed the size of because I wanted it to have a little white edge on the inside for my card and then on the outside too. If you don't want that, don't change yours. All I did was um, all I did was stretch it out just a little bit. And you can always just look at the size and Cut another circle out of it and make it thinner if you want. You can do that. I'm just going to pop that down. Really, really cute card. We made uh, gumball machines once years ago, but that was, that was really, really, really difficult to make so we didn't make many of them. You want to make sure that you get this lined up well so that, that you don't want to glue your perforation down so that they can tear that piece out. Okay, And then we've got another ring. But yeah, this file is a lot more sophisticated, a lot easier than what we used to do for sure. All of that by hand cutting. It's got a little bit of fuzzy on my, I didn't get a clean cut on that, but I'll live with it. Maybe a little glue down. How cute is this? And then I cut, I put a Santa Claus in there, guys, and I tried to cut it a couple of times to layer it up to go on here. Um, but I didn't like the way that I, it cut. It was just too small and too intricate. But I'm thinking I might pop dot that up. My red's a little off, but that's okay. It looks old world, and I kind of like that with a little difference in color. I am going to put some pop dots on the back of this guy. And I'm going to glue this piece on, but I did flatten it for print and cut, and I'll put my file in there in case you guys want to use this same file along with Louise's. Uh, again, I didn't do anything except change this ring. The rest of the file is all hers, and then I added some design space uh, access images. So you guys will have this exact layout if you want it. Pick your own. You can see the difference between Louise's design and my design. See what you come up with. Because you can use all sorts of Tic Tacs. You can use the green one for uh, Christmas tree seeds or 
the orange ones. Um, they just do all sorts of stuff. You can look up and look up Tic Tac Seeds, and they will give you um, the list of everything that you can do with them. Uh, we use red and white for candy cane seeds. I'm trying to think of what the others were. Um, we've used red ones for... Um, ladybug seeds or something like that. I don't remember what all we did. Um, Christmas trees, the white ones, snowman seeds. Um, the orange ones uh, you can do for uh, snowman noses. There are just all sorts of different ones. If you look up the seeds, you'll find it. You'll find all sorts of ways that they've used the Tic Tacs. And then this one says candy cane seeds. And I did get that position like I want. I wanted that 12 cents to show in there. And it came out pretty darn good. And I am just going to glue this on the edges. So I like where that's sitting. I'm just going to hold it. And I'm just going to place a little glue on that edge. And let that grab. And then I'm going to come over to this side. I'm going to let that grab. How stinking cute is this? And if you want, you can use poinsettias or anything like that that you want on there. Um, I'm not going to use anything. I like it just like it is. If you don't want to use the Santa, you can use the poinsettias on there. It would be just as cute. Um, sometimes less is more. I'm not adding anything else to my... But that's how it goes. Thank you again, Louise, for the awesome, awesome, awesome file. And if you have one down in there, you want it to go back in, all you need to do is turn the card up and spin your wheel until it actually drops back in to the top. And if you don't want them to fall in, just kind of turn it so that your mechanism is at the top there, and that will keep them from falling out until they get this out. Awesome file, Louise. Thank you for sharing. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you need more help, please just let me or Louise know and we will be happy to walk you through.